Hi everyone! Welcome back to WebTech Tutorial. In this video, we are going to be learning how to use Zoom app on iPhone for beginners. Zoom is a powerful and versatile video conferencing platform that allows you to host and join virtual meetings, webinars, and online events from anywhere with an internet connection. To start using Zoom on your iPhone, First of all, you will need to download and install Zoom. So let's get started. Step 1. Downloading and installing Zoom application on iPhone. First of all, make sure that your iOS device is connected to a stable internet. Now, launch open your App Store. In the search bar at the top, type in Zoom and search. Look for Zoom, one platform to connect this application in the search result and tap on the download or the get button to start downloading the app on your iphone once the application is downloaded tap on the open button step 2 sign in or sign up for your account if you are already logged in or signed into your account you can skip to step 3 to create a new account tap on the sign up button enter your birth year in the text box appearing on the next page now Tap continue. On the next page, type in your email address. You can also select continue with Apple, Google, Facebook or with SSO option as displayed on the screen. But if you want to continue with email, type in your email address that you have an access to in the text box at the top. Once you are done, tap continue. Now enter a verification code that has been emailed to you on the particular email that you just entered. After entering the code, on the next page, type in your first name, last name, and create a password. While creating a password, make sure to include the criteria displayed right beneath. Once done, tap continue. Enable necessary permissions, such as notification by tap and enable. If you don't wanna do that right now, tap on not now, and select continue. Allow Zoom to access your calendar tap allow full access and if you want to enable face id for a fast and secure way to sign into your app tap on continue allow zoom to use face id by tapping allow and then upload a profile picture for yourself and check if your display name is correct you can also enter a nickname for yourself in the display name text box after you are done with it Tap on continue, tap on get started and you will be able to sign up for your Zoom account. Step 3. Join a meeting. From the main homepage after signing up for a new account, you will be able to see several options popping up at the top of the screen. To join in a meeting, simply tap on the join button at the top of the screen. When prompted, enter the meeting password provided by the host and tap on join. Allow necessary permission again as prompted on the screen by tapping on allow or if you don't want to allow some of the permissions, tap on don't allow. After you do that, you will be connected to the meeting and can participate in video and audio discussions. Step 4. Hosting a meeting. If you want to host a meeting, then simply tap on the new meeting option at the top left. Now customize your meeting settings such as enabling videos by toggling on the button right next to video on. To use your personal meeting ID, turn on the next toggle button. Now, after you've customized your meeting setting, tap on start a meeting. Soon after you do that, you will be able to see your camera screen. You can invite participants by tapping on the participants option at the bottom. Once you do that, tap on invite at the lower left corner and Send an invitation via email, text message, invite your contacts or simply copy the invite link and share it with the help of a messaging application and you will be able to add participants on your meeting to join in. Step 5. Navigate meeting controls. During the meeting, you can mute, unmute your microphone, turn your camera off and share your screen using the controls at the bottom of the screen. You can also tap on the middle of the screen to access additional options such as chat, participants list and more. Step 6. End or leave a meeting. To end a meeting you're hosting, tap on the end button at the top right corner. 
Now, confirm your action by tapping on either end meeting for all or leave meeting. Soon after you do that, you will be able to end a meeting you are hosting. Apart from joining or creating a meeting, you can also schedule a meeting by tapping on schedule at the top right. Select the start date, the time duration for your meeting, select your time zone, frequency for the meeting and other information from this page. Once you've made necessary changes, tap on save at the top right. Once you are done using the app, if you want to log out of it, simply tap on the more button at the bottom right hand corner from the main home page. Now tap on your name appearing at the top of the screen and scroll all the way down from your my profile page. Select sign out from the options and you will then be able to log out or sign out of your Zoom account. Step 8. Sign in to Zoom. After logging out of your Zoom account, if you ever want to sign in back again, then launch open your Zoom application and tap on sign in from the main home page. Now select the same option that you chose while signing up for your Zoom account. Enter your email and password associated with Zoom or Choose any other sign-in methods located at the bottom of the screen. Enter your email and password associated with your Zoom account and then tap on sign in and there you have successfully logged into your Zoom account as well. Now you've learned how to use the Zoom application on your iPhone. If you are a beginner and you'd like to connect with others, host and join meetings and take advantages of Zoom's feature for remote communications and collaboration. If you found the video to be helpful, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel by hitting the subscribe button. Also, press on the notification bell so that you'll never miss another upcoming upload from us. I will be back again in the next video. Thanks for watching.